What's up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we're going to talk saddle hunting and we're going to talk about the way that I stow my linesman belt so I don't have to deal with taking it off and putting it in a dump pouch and it's also not dangling around and getting in the way. So stay tuned. Okay, so saddle hunting and ropes, the two have got to go together, but rope management or mismanagement can determine whether you have an enjoyable hunt or just a nightmare frustrating uh, situation. So let's talk linesman belt, okay? There's a zillion different ways to do this. There's a zillion way, different ways to manage your ropes. And I'm gonna show you what I do. Personally, I girth hitch my linesman belts onto my, li my linesman loop. I'm a right-handed shooter, so I like everything on my left side the way it's girth hitched, that way on my tag ends are with dealing with them on my right hand, okay? So rather than me taking all this off and putting it in a dump pouch, and then when I get to the tree, pulling it all out, hooking it all up, I leave mine connected all the time. But what do you do with all this? Well, this tip actually came from my good buddy, Nate Sellers with Average Jack Archery. So shout out to Nate. He and I were walking through the woods one day and he's like, what in the world are you doing with your uh, linesman belt? I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, dude, don't do this. He said, you need to daisy chain that thing. I was like, wow, never even thought of that. So basically all you're gonna do when you daisy chain is you're gonna loop this thing over on itself multiple times and then when you're done and you got it clipped up and you're ready to go, all you do is unclip it and it all pulls out. Now these ones like this Latitude that have this plastic, they make your first loop a little bit big, okay? But if you don't have the plastic or you got one that you tied yourself, you can probably make these even tighter, okay? So the, the key here is, is to go around your hand and make a loop and then come over like you're tying a knot and stick a loop through just like this and grab that loop. And then take another loop and go through the loop you just made and another loop and you're just gonna sit here and do this. You're gonna make a series of little loops that you're just going through one after another until you get down to where all you're left with is your carabiner and your Prusik or your mechanical tender, whatever you use. And then to manage it all, you're going to clip that carabiner through that last loop you made. Okay, so now we got it daisy chained. And then what I do is I then clip the carabiner onto my linesman loop. And now that is stowed right there, ready to go when I'm walking in the woods. It just sits here and dangles, okay? And then when I get to my tree and I'm ready to hunt, I reach over, I unclip it off my linesman loop. I come back around and I unclip it from the last loop that I created. And then look at that. The whole thing just comes out, okay? So the only key is you wanna make sure you get your carabiner and Prusik all the way to the end and then you can daisy chain the whole thing up. When I'm up in the, the uh, tree hunting, I'll either re-daisy chain it, or at that point, because I typically have a dump pouch on my left side that's got my tether and all that stuff, that stuff's already deployed and in the tree. I'll take all the stuff and just dump it, put it down in that dump pouch, and I will leave this thing girth hitch, hitched, and then when I'm ready to go down, the first thing I do is I throw my linesman belt on and then I step back and reverse my process of getting everything put away and I get down on the tree. So there you go. Daisy chain can be your answer for managing these obnoxious linesman ropes that we have to have to stay safe. So with that, God bless, stay safe this year, use all your ropes and wanna see you return home safely every night. As always, it's a new day in the outdoors.